Could you describe a time in your life in which the Lord disciplined you and you look back on that time with utter thankfulness for the fruit it yielded in your life? Well, the one thing that comes to mind is what I kind of alluded to earlier. In about 1990, the church we were in had a split, a big division, and I was so discouraged in it. I was one of the pastors, and I was so discouraged in that experience that I withdrew. I did not take a stand of confronting people in a, in a right way, in a loving way, but still confronting. I didn't know what to do. I was afraid. I had the fear of man or whatever. So I didn't respond right. And it, it caused me to move in discouragement. And I didn't realize it at the time. I honestly didn't. But I think for 10 years, the Lord kind of let that, that wilderness experience. I wasn't pastoring. We weren't even settled, really. I, I worked. We had twins come along in 1992. And it was a very difficult time because I, because I couldn't get any clear direction. What does God want of me? And it was a refining time of dis loving discipline. And I don't fully know why it took 10 years. Maybe it wasn't even 10 years, but that was a time I was truly disciplined by the Lord. Discipline is loving correction to make us more fruitful. It's not punishment. Right? So I learned huge lessons in retrospect that I should have done this as a pastor. If, if I would have done this, I would have protected those believers more. If I had been courageous to say, brother, I disagree and what you're doing is wrong because it's, it's affecting others and you're being selfish in this. Saying things like that when I should have, but I didn't have the courage to. Uh, I learned so much through that as a, as a discipline from the Lord and it's borne fruit in my life to take a stand when I need to, to see, you know, truth is on trial here and people are going to be affected by this if I don't respond in love but still respond. So I've got to. And that was a big, hard discipline, but that's the biggest one I can remember in my own life. Now for the present, Discipline is not joyful. You know, it's grievous. It's hard to go through it. But it's a John 15. You know, he, he disciplines and prunes us because we are bearing fruit and it's that we bear more fruit. So after that season of 10 years, is that when you ended up back in Denton and the church kind of started up again? Well, not the same church, but yes. We moved back to Denton in 1998. So it wasn't, it wasn't a full ten, 10 years, but it seemed like a, an eternity almost. So we came back because what came to me clearly was, it was like God had shown me in my heart. I left where I was out of discouragement without direction to go to something positive and clear and specific. And so it's always wrong to make decisions and choices out of discouragement. You'll almost always make a mistake. It's like marrying on the rebound four months later and you realize, oh man, what did I do? You know, people who do that. So when we came back to Denton in 1998, it was like God was, uh, I had deeply, well, I got to, I truly had matured. I honestly feel like, and I'd, I'd been preaching since 1975. And now it was 98. I honestly believe 
I was now prepared enough to truly preach and help somebody. I mean, I don't know how to say it any more than that. My spirit had matured. God had developed patience in me. He had given me a pastor's heart. He let me learn how to view issues in a right and wrong way. How to give answers about assurance of salvation when somebody comes. How to help them analyze it. He gave me a pastor's heart. Um, and I, But if I hadn't been through what I'd gone through in those years of the 1990s, I wouldn't been near as equipped. So I praise God now for the fruit of it. I wouldn't want to go through it again. <laughs> it's like open heart surgery. <laughs> Praise God for that surgery. Lord, <laughs> may it never be again. But you, when you can have it, you've got to have it for your, to save your life. You're thankful for it and you're thankful for the surgeon.